Hey everybody, Zooman here, and today I have Modern Warfare 3 Ideas Part 2. I'm going to have Part 3 in the next couple days, hopefully tomorrow. But uh, yeah, if you guys are interested, go ahead and subscribe to check that out in the future. Uh, but to start things off with the ideas, Theater Mode, <laughs> I was almost going to say Modern Warfare 3. Uh, that's a great idea, but uh, yeah, Theater Mode and Modern Warfare 3, uh, you know they're going to have it. But uh, the interface on that, or what it looks like, what it feels like, uh, how they designed it, I think they should keep kind of the same thing, but add uh, like features kind of like YouTube. Basically, uh, like Friends, almost like the subscription box. Uh, Friends recently added to file share, recently uploaded to the community, stuff like that. Maybe even top rated in the community, down to top rated in Friends list. Um, maybe top rated, I don't know. Maybe most viewed, I don't know if I said two things, two of the same things uh, in a row, but. Obviously, they're going to have a Call of Duty Elite link kind of feature going there. Um, you can probably view it on your computer or your uh, file share stuff. Um, but killstreaks, that is a huge thing in Call of Duty. We all know it. But they are actually changing up uh, the killstreaks in Modern Warfare 3. They're doing a whole different thing than what uh, Modern Warfare 2 did and what Black Ops did. So uh, it might actually be the point streak. Uh, like, I believe it was uh, Medal of Honor. There we go. I was about to say Battlefield because... Uh, they're made by the same people. <laughs> I don't know. It feels the same, but yeah. Uh, kill streaks, longer kill streaks, uh, meaning it takes more kills to get it. I want you know challenging stuff. That's the reason why the nuke was so um, infamous, I guess you could say, uh, because it was a challenge to get. It was, not that many people got it. It was rare. I mean, I can get a chopper gun or a dog every single game if I really, really tried, and I wasn't facing you know MLG pros and stuff, but. Uh, yeah, I, I really want harder kill streaks to get. Um, a longer kill streak list, more variety when it comes to kill streaks. Uh, it's pretty hard to do when it comes to innovation, but maybe um, add stuff from previous ones that weren't in, I don't know, <laughs> years. Um, so yeah, on to sound. We all know that sound whoring is a big thing in Call of Duty in general. And Black Ops kind of screwed it up when it came to uh, the trains and the rockets taking off and all that crap. But I think they could do a really good job in Modern, War Ugh. Modern Warfare 3 because Modern Warfare 2 was such a good game when it came to sound horn that I, I trust in them when it comes to that. But uh, just a reminder. Um, private match. This isn't really a big thing, but you know it would be fun and maybe reduce the hacking a little bit. Um, it's always good when you reduce hacking, but... Um, options in private match. I really want like arcade -y type stuff. Stuff like Super Jump. Um, super speed, that would be really fun. I mean, uh, I don't want to have to go into a private match if I'm not doing, like, a game battles. I don't do game battles myself, but, uh, I don't want to have to, you know, just play an actual game. That's no, that's no fun. Um, so on to, uh, prestiging. Uh, that's also a big thing in Call of Duty, uh, when it comes to ranking ups and stuff. But I would love it if they had less prestiges and, uh, like, more ranks. To get in between prestiges, like Modern Warfare 2 did a good job with 10 prestiges, level 70, uh, in between each one. That was the perfect setup. They should bring it back. No more 15 prestige. It was too uh, quick between prestiges, and uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I want them to make the last prestige more worth it to get because a lot of people in, in Black Ops stayed at 14 because there's no point to actually going to 15th. It was just more time um, ranking up and not having, you know, everything in the game. Um, I don't know how they would do that except for just taking what they would put previously in a pre one prestige ahead and putting in that prestige. But um, I think you guys catch my drift on that. Um, when it comes to stuns and knifing, this is a whole like whole different thing. It's not really one genre of things in Call of Duty, but uh, when it comes to stunning and knifing, whenever you stun somebody, they can they can't really move that much when it comes to walking around, but they can still knife the same speed, and I think they should change that. Um, it wouldn't really do that big of a difference because you don't really get knifed um, by a stunned guy that much, but you know it's just something that could help. Um, <laughs> just trying to make the game better, but um, this is a really big thing and a really uh, controversial thing with um, Black Ops. Not really. Modern Warfare 2 because there was stopping power in there, but when it comes to Ghost and Cold Blooded, um, I don't think it should be invincible to UAVs. I think every one out of three scans it should show somebody with Ghost. I mean, it would make them three times less visible uh, to UAVs. Um, 
I mean, they should still be invincible to killstreaks being seen by killstreaks, but just not UAV scans. I don't think that would be a very um, fair thing to do. But, um, yeah, here's kind of re a relative thing to that is kind of analogy, I guess. Uh, flak jacket doesn't make you inv invincible to explosives. Ghost shouldn't make you invincible to killstreaks, you know? Or not killstreaks, UAVs. Um, on to shotguns, and this is going to be my last thing. I think they should make it primaries, but make it the same as Modern Warfare 2 secondaries. Um, maybe a little bit less range, but same amount of power. We all hate hit markers with shotguns. They're supposed to be the most powerful thing besides sniper rifles. Um, and they always get more hit markers than any other gun. So, um, that's going to do it. Um, I'm going to have part three uh, out soon, and there's going to be a lot of things in there, including dashboarding and how they could fix it so uh yeah <laughs> uh peace